This genetically modified Bt maize poses a threat to honeybees. Bt maize produces a substance called Bt protein, which kills the larvae of maize pests. So could it be possible that it also affects the well-being of bees when they collect pollen from Bt maize? This was the question that scientists of the University of Würzburg investigated during a three-year research project. On the maize trial field, flight tents were erected on plots with different maize varieties. Two bee colonies were placed in each tent. The bees were then only able to collect the pollen from one type of maize, either the genetically modified BT maize pollen, or pollen from one of three different conventional non-genetically modified maize varieties. It's particularly important to coordinate the flowering season of the plants with the presence of the bees, so we needed to place the bees inside the tents exactly when the maize was blooming. This gave them the chance to interact with the blooming maize plants and gather their pollen. In our investigations we focused on nurse bees, which feed the brood, because they ingest the largest amounts of pollen protein, making them the most interesting candidates for biosafety research. Newly hatched bees were marked and placed in a bee colony for 10 days. Just a few days after hatching, they started nursing the brood and feeding the larvae with a high protein secretion. After the experiment, we examined the death rate. We checked if there was a weight difference between the various test groups and how well the nurse bees' digestive systems functioned. Examining the digestive organs can be very informative, as Bt proteins are designed to attack the digestive tracts of insects that have the corresponding binding site for the protein. That is why scientists in Würzburg, together with colleagues from the Julius Kuhn Institute, also analyzed the nurse bees' intestines. Stefan Hertel comments on the results from the experiments with the nurse bees. We didn't find any effects regarding the death rate of the nurse bees, neither did we find effects on the weight nor the functioning of the digestive tract. Those nurse bees that ingested large amounts of Bt pollen digested this pollen in the same way as other nurse bees digested conventional maize pollen. Additionally, we looked at whether it had any influence on the intestinal flora of the bees, but we got the same result. The Bt pollen had no effect on the intestinal flora. Not only nurse bees, also bee larvae are an interesting phase during the life cycle of a honey bee because many Bt proteins are targeted at larvae in particular. Bee larvae were fed maize pollen from different maize varieties, two of them being Bt varieties. In order to simulate the natural way of pollen ingestion, a realistic dose of pollen was directly added to the feeding solution. It was shown that the bee larvae tolerated Bt pollen just as well as they tolerated conventional pollen. All larvae that were fed with Bt maize pollen survived and pupated. In a second experiment, the scientists exclusively used purified Bt protein to feed the bee larvae. The advantage of the purified protein experiment was the fact that we were able to increase the dose of the Bt protein significantly. So we actually fed a dose to the larvae that was 186 times higher than normal. And even there, we didn't find any correlation between the Bt agent and the death rate or the weight of the larvae. Honeybees are exposed to a number of stress factors, for example pesticides in agricultural landscapes and a number of different bee diseases. In this case, we specifically concentrated on the interaction of an intestinal parasite with Bt, since such a link would indeed make biological sense, as both can harm the intestine of the insect. Test groups of bees, both in the field experiments with the flight tents, as well as in the feeding experiment in the laboratory, were infected with the intestinal parasite Neusema. The scientists monitored the bees' development and the digestion of various different types of maize pollen. Our results did not indicate any sort of link between Bt pollen and the intestinal parasite Neusema. In order to measure the general amounts of maize pollen that bees gather in the field, the research team from Würzburg set up observation hives in 12 agricultural landscapes that differed from one another in terms of the proportion of land area under maize cultivation. We used these observation hives because they gave us the unique opportunity to observe the waggle dance. 
bees communicate with each other and exchange information about feeding resources in the area. We recorded these waggle dances, in which the bees passed on the information, we decoded it, and we observed where the bees really flew. We found out that maize pollen is indeed attractive for honeybees, and they even show an increased dancing activity for areas where maize is grown. However, assuming that various kinds of pollen differ in their quality, we found the interesting result that bees tend to fly shorter distances for maize pollen than for other kinds of pollen. In our investigations, we didn't find any indications of a direct toxic effect of Bt causing harm to honeybees. However, it's necessary to say that various aspects would definitely still need to be investigated more thoroughly. For example, one would have to set up hives with entire colonies in landscapes where Bt maize is grown and observe them. This has not been done yet. Honeybees, that is our honeybee, Apis mellifera, exist in all relevant agricultural areas around the world. And the bees are also present in areas where transgenic plants are grown. That means that this kind of biosafety research that we do here in Germany is of great importance. And its relevance is clearly increasing rather than decreasing, since on a global level the tendency is towards growing more and more transgenic plants.